hello guys in this class we will see about the determination of iron content in a sample by calorimetry aim of the experiment is to estimate the amount of iron content present in the given sample by calorimetry calorimetry is a technique used to find the concentration of the substance in a colored solution using instruments such as calorimeter or spectrophotometer Calorimeter, spectrophotometer or the instruments using which the colored solutions can be analyzed. Okay, if the solutions are not colored, they can be made colored and then can be estimated. Such technique are said to be the calorimetry. Principle behind this experiment is Bear Lambert law. Whenever we pass a monochromatic light, monochromatic light means light of a single wavelength into a colored solution, some amount of the radiation is absorbed and the remaining is transmitted. I0 indicates the intensity of incident radiation. I indicates intensity of the transmitted radiation. C is a concentration. L is the path length. Path length is usually uh, the width of the cuvette in which uh, the sample is taken. It is very obvious that uh, when we pass a monochromatic light into a colored solution, the absorbance takes place in the visible region and the absorbance that is the amount of radiation absorbed will increase with the concentration and the amount of light transmitted that is transmittance will decrease with the uh, increase in concentration. Also if path length increases also the intensity of the radiation decreases and the absorbance increases. Okay, uh, According to Lambert law Intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially with the path length. Then transmittance T is expressed as T is equal to I divided by I0 equal to 10 to the power minus KL. K is constant, L is path length. Bear law states that intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially with the concentration. Then the T expressed as uh, T is equal to I divided by I0 equal to 10 to the power minus K dash C. K dash is constant again here and C is the concentration. Now combining these two laws, uh, we can state that intensity of transmitted light, light decreases exponentially with both path length and the concentration. And the T is expressed as T is equal to I divided by I naught equal to 10 to the power minus epsilon Cl. Both the laws are combined. Um, K and K dash constants are combined and taken as epsilon which is molar absorption coefficient. How does the A related to transmittance? A is equal to uh, log 1 by T or A is equal to negative log of T. Now let us uh, uh, substitute this T is equal to 10 to the power minus epsilon Cl uh, in the expression A is equal to minus log 10 base T. Then we get A is equal to that is absorbance A is equal to minus log 10 base 10 to the power minus epsilon Cl. If this minus epsilon Cl brought front, okay, then the negative signs gets cancelled and you get A is equal to epsilon Cl alone uh, because log 10 to the power 10 is 1, okay. Then you get absorbance A is equal to epsilon Cl where A is the absorbance um, epsilon molar absorption coefficient whose uh, unit is going to be mole inverse centimeter inverse and uh, C is a molar concentration, mole is a unit and L is optical path length, uh, centimeter will be the unit for it. Now let us see about um, components of spectrophotometer. Spectrophotometer consists of light source, monochromator uh, and then cuvette that is sample holder, uh, then detector which is a photocell and then display. Light source is usually uh, tungsten lamp. Tungsten lamp can very well emit radiation in the uh, visible region. Monochromator it consists of collimator, uh, dispersing unit uh, such as grating or prism and then a slit. Collimator collects radiation from the light source and focuses it onto the prism. Prism or the grating will disperse the light into component wavelength and radiation of particular wavelength is allowed uh, through the slit. 
So monochromatic is a wavelength selector. For example, in the estimation of uh, iron, iron absorbs 480 nanometer of uh, radiation. Uh, absorbs radiation of wavelength 480 nanometer. So the monochromatic is set in such a way that um, radiation of wavelength 480 nanometer is alone um, allowed through the slit. Now 480 nanometer uh, of uh, radiation, that is radiation of wavelength 480 nanometer is allowed to pass into the sample solution um, where the ion solution is taken okay and the transmitted light is deducted the detector converts the light energy into electrical signal uh, so that uh, absorbance either the absorbance value uh, and uh, or the transmitted transmittance value is displayed in the display that depends upon what mode we set now let's see uh, about the procedure first is stock solution of uh, fe3 plus ion is prepared a stock solution of fe3 plus is prepared by dissolving 0.083 gram of ferrous ammonium sulfate with 1 ml of concentrated nitric acid in 1 liter of distilled water so that means 0.083 gram of FAS that is ferrous ammonium sulfate is first treated with 1 ml of concentrated nitric acid and then made up to 1 liter using distilled water. Um, ferrous ammonium sulfate actually consists of Fe2 plus ion that is uh, iron uh, in the ferrous ammonium sulfate has got plus 2 oxidation state. When this is acidified with concentrated nitric acid, it gets oxidized. That is Fe2 plus gets oxidized to Fe3 plus ion. The stock solution is still colorless. Now this is made colored if it is treated with uh, potassium thiocyanate or ammonium thiocyanate when uh, some amount of this stock solution is taken and treated with uh, either potassium thiocyanate or ammonium thiocyanate blood red color solution is obtained so this is uh, due to formation of a complex for example when fe3 plus is treated with potassium thiocyanate Potassium ferrithiocyanate is formed, which is blood red in color. 1 ml of uh, stock solution consists of 10 ppm of iron. And uh, different concentration of uh, uh, blood red color solutions are prepared. And let me tell you how uh, various concentrations of Fe3 plus solutions can be prepared. If 1 ml of uh, stock solution is taken um, and to it 1 ml of ammonium thiocyanate or potassium thiocyanate if added and made up to 10 ml with distilled water then the final concentration of Fe3 plus is 1 ppm. If 2 ml of FAS stock solution is taken and to it 2 ml of either potassium thiocyanate or ammonium thiocyanate is added and 6 ml of distilled water is added and stir then the solution is now of concentration 2 ppm. So likewise 3 ppm, 4 ppm and 5 ppm of uh, 5 ppm concentration of Fe3 plus solutions are prepared and labeled um, and labeled also okay so you could see that when the concentration uh, increases the uh, intensity of the color is also increased so when uh, the stock solution is ready and uh, uh, different concentrations like 1 2 3 4 ppm of iron solution is also ready okay we can um, start the instrument uh, also the blank solution must also be ready before we start the instrument i'll tell you what is this blank solution also 
blank solution is nothing but the solution without iron that is uh, potassium thiocyanate or ammonium thiocyanate with the distilled water alone okay not the iron iron should not be present so such solution is said to be the blank solution uh, spectrophotometer spectrophotometer consists of various parts such as sample com compartment where uh, the sample or the equipment containing the sample will be um, placed and a zero controller uh, transmittance absorbance controlling knob and then wavelength controller knob and there is a mode selection button so using this mode selection button we can make either the absorbance or transmittance value to be displayed here and here is the display of uh, wavelength of the radiation that is passed so since it is an estimation of uh, iron uh, 480 nanometer is set in the spectrophotometer. Um, the instrument must be switched on and then warmed up for 10 minutes at least. And after that, uh, before we use the iron solutions, blank solution should be used. Blank solution will be colorless because iron uh, will not be present in the blank solution. It is only prepared using potassium thiocyanate and distilled water. Let us see various steps involved in the determination now. The spectrophotometer is switched on and warmed up for 10 minutes. The monochromator is set to 480 nanometer blank solution. Okay, So that is without Fe3 plus ions is uh, taken in the cuvette and placed in the instrument. Absorbance is set to 0 and transmittance is set to uh, 100 using the absorbance transmittance no and then after setting this uh, now for every uh, standard solutions the absorbance value is measured okay we must go from the lower concentration onwards first uh, 1 ppm is taken in the cuvette okay that is placed in the sample holder of the instrument and absorbance is measured for it and next uh, 2 ppm is taken after rinsing it with the uh, rinsing the cuvette with the 2 ppm the absorbance value is measured actually it is filled in the cuvette and then they are placed in the instrument to measure the absorbance value we should go from the lower concentration uh, to higher concentration okay that is straight away we should, we should not measure for the higher concentration it should go from we should grow from go from the lower concentration onwards okay and then these absorbance values that is measured for each concentration is tabulated absorbance for unknown sample is also measured so next step is to plot graph for absorbance versus concentration okay um, since absorbance is linear relationship with the concentration you will get a straight line passing through the origin. Okay. Now, knowing the absorbance value for the unknown, a straight line is drawn. Say, for example, absorbance value of an unknown lies somewhere here. Then, you draw a straight line um, so that it touches the line uh, passing through the origin okay and afterwards from this we have to again draw a straight line uh, so that it touches the x-axis and here is the concentration for your unknown sample so this is how the unknown uh, concentration can be found using the um, calibration curve okay hope you understood the experiment Thank you very much. Okay, meet you all in next class.